Hi, my name is Miles, and I'm going to take you quickly through some of the new features that we've added in Tanzu Application Platform version 1.1. Our application has already been built by our development team on their personal development environment and tested in the inner loop on the Iterate cluster. And now it's ready to be deployed to higher environments. Let's take a look at how this works. Following the multi-cluster architecture, we'll create our workload on the build cluster, which will then initiate our out-of-the-box test and scan supply chain. The input will be the application source code, and the output is a deliverable, which will be deployed later onto our run clusters. Let's create the workload from the Tanzu CLI using our workload.yaml definition, then switch over to the backstage-based Tanzu GUI to follow the progress of the supply chain on the new workload visualization plugin. This plugin gives us a great overview of the status of the steps within a supply chain. If you would like to understand the steps in more depth, check out the demo video in the description below. You can see that the supply chain has already set up the source of our application code and kicked off the continuous integration tests for the source code in the source tester step. Once the tests pass, the source code will then be scanned for vulnerabilities to ensure that there are none present which exceed our policy. Once this is validated, the Tanzu build service will be used to build a container image from the source code using cloud native build packs, mitigating the need for operations and development teams to own and maintain Docker files. Once the image is created and pushed into the image registry, it is then scanned by the image scanner, again, ensuring no vulnerabilities are found that exceed our scan policy. Finally, the metadata of the image, which is added to the image as part of the build process, is analyzed to produce the Kubernetes configuration required to run the application, which is written out to a GitHub repository. We'll use this as our trigger for our GitOps workflow shortly. Additionally, a deliverable artifact is created on the build server. We'll export this, applying it to our run clusters to deploy our application. While we're doing this manually, you could use an existing GitOps process to do so. We're evaluating options to do this as part of Tanzu application platform in future releases. Now that the supply chain has completed, we have a deliverable artifact, which we have exported from our build server, as well as the Kubernetes configuration, which is stored in our GitHub repository. Let's see how we can use these artifacts to initially deploy our application and promote it across our dev, staging, and production Tanzu application platform clusters using GitOps practices. We'll apply the deliverable produced by our supply chain to our dev, stage, and production clusters using branches within our GitOps repo to handle the promotion of changes across environments. Let's apply the deliverable to each cluster now, and then use the runtime resource viewer from the Tanzu application platform GUI, which has been enhanced for multi-cluster support, to deploy our application. As you can see, we currently have no instances of our application running in any clusters. Let's start with deploying our application to the dev cluster by applying the deliverable to that cluster. This will configure Tanzu application platform to consume the Kubernetes configuration from the dev branch of our GitOps repo and monitor for any changes. From here, we can see that the application has been deployed and is running on our tap dev cluster. Let's test our application out to ensure that it is functional. All right, going back to the resource viewer, we can also drill into our application and see that we can view all the metadata about that application, as well as routes, revisions, running pods, etc. If we drill into one of these running pods, we can see that the application live view plugin allows us to view and troubleshoot our application, even when it's running across multiple clusters. Now that dev is working, let's get the deliverable deployed onto our staging and production Tanzu app platform clusters. Once the runtime resource viewer shows the instance of our application is ready, we can validate that our application is working properly for each environment. First, let's take a look at the staging environment. Then, we'll ensure production is working as expected. Now that all of our environments are up and running, let's go back and make a modification to our application to see how the supply chain is reinvoked and use GitOps principles to promote the change through the environments. 
let's start by making a simple change to the title of the application from Tanzu Sensor App to Weather Sensor App. Again, we can see from the workload visualization that our supply chain kicks off and reruns our supply chain on the new code. It tests our source code, scans it for vulnerabilities, builds an updated container image, scans that for vulnerabilities, and pushes the updated configuration to the dev branch of our GitOps repo. If we hop over to GitHub, you can see that a new commit has been made to our dev branch. Because the development Tanzu application platform cluster is monitoring the dev branch of our GitOps repo, we can see that the application has automatically been deployed to our development cluster. Now, let's promote the application to our staging Tanzu app platform cluster by opening a pull request for the configuration changes into our staging branch. As we can see in the pull request, the change that has been made is to update the container image with our new image. Let's kick off the process by opening our pull request, give it a nice name so the reviewers know what they're reviewing, and after the pull request is reviewed and approved, we can merge the dev branch to our staging branch, and the Tanzu application platform will automatically detect the changes and roll out the updated image to our staging run cluster. Now that we have validated the changes working as expected in our dev and staging run clusters, let's open a pull request for the change into our main branch. Again, we'll validate that the change is to update the running image and create the pull request. After we create, review, and merge the change from the pull request, we can confirm that Tanzu Application Platform has detected the change onto the main branch of our GitOps repo, and again, roll this change out to our production run cluster. For more information on Tanzu Application Platform, please go to tanzu.vmware.com.